Hi, it's Matthew from Time Motors, and behind me I've got one of our Range Rover Sports. This specific one is on a 19 plate. It's the seven-seater V8 autobiography, and I think you're gonna like it. As usual, we'll start from the front and make our way around this Range Rover. It really needs very little introduction. It is the pinnacle of SUVs on the road today, and this being the Sport V8 model, it really does drive like it too. I'm gonna make my way around the car, just point out any defects that I notice. I think the white and black really works well on the sport model. It proper looks up there. Noticing some very slight scuffs down here on the bumper. Just show you them in a little bit better detail. Nothing that would worry me, but always good to note. It's in really good condition. Nothing really jumping out at me at all. This one is full service history and we've got two keys. Always good. So let's start by making our way back around the car and head into the boot. As you'd expect on a car of this size, it is particularly large. Automatic boot, you'd expect uh, to have that on a car of this level really. Very generous size, this is being the seven seater. So of course you can put them rear seats up if you need to carry more passengers. I'll just show you how easy it is to do that. Yeah, it is a button on this model. All you do is remove the luggage rack, which I've already done, and then you can pop your seats up. It is a bit swish that, isn't it? There's one of them now. Now, admittedly, you don't get a lot of foot room, but for children or them smaller passengers, it's perfectly adequate. I'm not gonna get into the back and show you because no one needs to see me clamber in there. But yeah, as I say, it's adequate for smaller passengers or children. You can also actually lower and raise the car from here. If you need to get anything heavy or large into the boot, it just makes it that little bit easier. Just another thing that Range Rover have uh, thought about really. Now making our way around the car, we'll go into the rear passenger space. So this is a driver's seat in my usual driving position. As you'd imagine, plenty of space back here. Very comfortable. We've got white leather, two-tone, a little bit of a black effect. And it is a very nice place to be. Sat here in the back, you feel a little bit like royalty really. I could more than get used to being driven around in here. Now you have actually got quad zone climate control back here. So if one of your rear passengers likes it a little bit warmer than the other, it's no problem at all. Now moving on to the front of the car where you'll probably be spending the majority of your time. Now we'll just start the engine. So you can hear that lovely V8. As you'd expect, it sounds Phenomenal, really. No other word to describe it. Now, with this being the autobiography model, you've got a few extras as to be expected. It is such a nice place to be up front here. You've really got all the tech that you'd ever require. And a nice sunroof just above. Which is always a nice option on a car like this. The seats are extremely comfortable and they are heated as well as cooled. It's a very modern interior. You've got two screens down here. One generally controls what the car's doing and the other one is more your infotainment. Of course, you've got all the luxuries like Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, DAB radio. Yeah, you really would expect it on a car of this caliber. With it being a nice posh SUV, don't expect it to handle terrible off-road. They've really covered you for everything, as you'd expect. It handles equally good on and off the road. That'll adjust things like suspension, as well as the ride height. You've got your digital driver's display in front of you. 
gives you all the relevant information that you need. The ambient lighting is pretty spectacular in this particular car. You can change it to any color you like, but I particularly like the purple with the white ivory leather. It just matches the car so well. And back to the V8 engine there, just ticking away. It sounds quite quiet and peaceful, but as soon as you wanna open her up and put your foot down, it is a spectacular noise. What could be better than that? And if you like me and suffer with cold hands in the winter, well, you can heat your steering wheel as well. Obviously, you've got all the optional extras, lane keeping assist, collision avoidance, you name it, it's probably got it. You can take a look at the full spec on our website. Now let's take a look at that engine. Now admittedly, there's not much to see under here, but you have got your V8 supercharged engine here. Now I hope you've enjoyed the walk around tour of this Range Rover Sport. If you want to see anything in greater detail, feel free to contact me at Time Motors. We can arrange a FaceTime or WhatsApp video so you can have a look. And if you'd like to book a viewing, just give me a phone call or an email. My name's Matthew and I'll be happy to help.